Hello, Pan people, dear friends of Pan. Are you ready to learn this lesson? Good. Today, I am going to teach you the part two of the previous lesson that I taught you yesterday. Are you ready to follow this lesson? If yes, we are going to get started. But before, I would like to remind you the books. First of all, buy these books only in, in, in one sentence. Try to buy these books. They are very important to you. The second thing that I want to tell you is to come and learn English at Chimirongo or there on Zoom. The third thing that I want to tell you is to try your best to subscribe. If you subscribe, you're going to get the lessons very well. The fourth, try your best to send our lessons to your friends and relatives. If you do that, they are going to benefit more. You are going to help them. You are going to become a good Samaritan to these people. Then here, uh, we have the part two of the previous lesson. Homophones. Before teaching you this lesson, I would like to show you the word of today that is demoralize. What is the meaning of demoralize? Demoralize. You see the word morale. Huh? Morale here. Morale, like this. Morale. Huh? Morale. Then to demoralize. Demoralize means to destroy the morale of someone. If you demoralize the morale of someone, if you destroy the morale of someone, you are demoralizing that morale. That is to destroy the morale of someone. To weaken, to weaken the strength or the stamina, the potential of someone. That is to demoralize. Demoralize no buchimheje. You are demoralizing them. If you demoralize someone, you are trying to destroy their morale. Need to demoralize. For example, I can say yesterday fans started to demoralize our team after scoring one goal. Ejo abafanabata njie guchinheje ikipe yachu ama imaze gutsinde jitegu. Ugovata njie gukubita buu, gutenye gukubita machupa mchibuga. That is to demoralize. Demoralize. Good. Then, homophones. We have three homophones here. Nizotu jiegu herao. Three homophones. Mary, Mary, Mary. Uwasanga wabi soma ganavi. Chango wabi jandika ganavi. Mary, the name of someone, or the female name, a female name, is in a jijitsina gore jitwa, Mary, Maria, tuwa andika gurichi, Mary, tuga soma Mary, then Mary means happy, eh? Merry Christmas, happy cre Christmas, then we have Mary, isobanwa, to join together, a husband and a wife, eh? kubawa nwaba ye, umge, they are going to marry each other, John married Janet, that is Mary. I am a gamboyosa vugwachimge. Mary, Mary, Mary. But they have different meanings. Okay? Ariko fitu uso wano butandu kai. For example, Peter wants to marry Mary. They always have Mary moments. Peter wants to marry Mary. They always have Mary moments. Peter arashaka kurongora Maria to marry kurongora. Huh? They always ije chose baba fite happy moments. Baba fite ibihe byiza bagira ibihe byiza by'ibyishimo biri mu byishimo. Then here we have Mary of happy, we have this Mary of joining together and we have this Mary the female name of people. Then you should know this Mary Mary, Mary, and you know they are me, they are meanings. Then here we have the second homophones. Do the homophones is in the Waste. The waist is the part of the body. Here I am touching on my waist. This is the waist. Okay? Waist. It is the waist. Even I'm stretching myself myself to show you where the waist is located. It is here, okay? Muruche. This is the waste. But waste is to spend, to waste, to spend. Uh, wasting 
But sometimes waste is used negatively. Ikunda kukoresh kwa negatively, usha kufuga kuspending chinu kubusa. I wasted my time for nothing yesterday. That is waste. For example, here I can say, I am touching on my waste. Ndi kukora kuruchenye rero gwanji. Uruchenye rero waste. Then, don't waste your time for nothing. Don't waste. This is waste. Waste, this part of the body. Chijichechu moviri. And we have this waste. Isobanura, to spend. Then, don't waste your time for nothing. Don't spend your time for na for nothing. I am a gambo yombi kwa raviri. Afite pronunciation imge, are called different me. Meanings. Then we have the word vain. Vain, which means no gain. In hachinububuonye. If you do something in vain, it means that there is no gain. In hachinuungutse. Yeah, in wa That is vain. And we have vain blood vessels. Imitsi itkwara maraso. Yaja na mumu, mumu tima tuita vessels. Okay, blood vessels. Then here you can say, everything she did yesterday was in vain. Ibjo ya koze jobjo se diapfu yubusa. It was in vain. Vain, no gain. She didn't gain anything. Hachi na chunga yinjish. But here you can say, veins are very important to our body. Veins are very important to our body. Iyimitsi, ninyiza, ningenzi, kumubiri wachu. They deliver blood to hurt. They deliver blood to hurt. Kubera ko itkwara amara somuchi mumutima. Then you should know all these homophones if you want to speak English very fluently. Ni wisha kukuki chonjereza fluently. Please try your best to learn these lessons we are giving you.